completing objects with its relations and avoiding unnecessary queries in Splalchemy. I have some database structure, as most of it is irrelevant for us, I'll describe just some relevant pieces. Let's like item object as example. I want to achieve some performance improvements in the Sklalchemy slash database layer, and have couple of ideas. 1. Requesting the same item twice. Each request generates an issue SQL query. To avoid it, I use two custom maps for an item object. I believe Squalchemy does similar object tracking, at least by primary key, item dotted. If it does, I can wipe both maps, although wiping name map will require minor modifications to application which uses these queries, to not duplicate functionality and use stock methods. Actual question is, if there's such functionality in Squalchemy, how to access it? 2. Eager loading of relationships often helps to save a lot of requests to database. Say, I'll definitely need following set of item equals item properties. If I have some item it and no item is loaded yet, I can request it from the database, eagerly loading everything I need. Sklalchemy will join group, its items and corresponding meta groups within single query. If I had accessed them with default lazy loading, Sklalchemy would need to issue one query to grab an item plus one to get group plus one hashtag items for all items in the list plus one hashtag items to get metagroup of each item, which is wasteful. 2.1 But what if I already have item object fetched, and some of the properties which I want to load are already loaded? As far as I understand, when I refetch some object from the database, its already loaded relations do not become unloaded, am I correct? Two point two. If I have item object fetched and want to access its group, I can just get group using item dot grouped, applying any eager statements I'll need. Items and items dot meta group. It should properly load group and its requested relations without touching item stuff. Will Sklalchemy properly map this fetched group to item dot group so that when I access item dot group, it won't fetch anything from the underlying database? Two point three. If I have following things fetched from the database, original item, item dot group, and some portion of the items from the item dot group dot items list, some of which may have meta group loaded, what would be best strategy for completing data structure to the same as eager list above? Refetch group with items, items dot meta group, eager load, or check each item from items list individually. And if item or its meta group is not loaded, load them. It seems to depend on the situation because if everything has already been loaded some time ago, issuing such heavy query is pointless. Does Sklalchemy provide a way to track if some object relation is loaded, with the ability to look deeper than just one level? 2.3 As an illustration to 2.3, I can fetch group with it 83, eagerly fetching items and items dot meta group. Is there a way to determine from an item, which has group it of an 83, does it have group, group.items and group.items.metagroup loaded or not, using Sklalchemy tools, in this case all of them should be loaded. To force loading lazy attributes just access them. This the simplest way and it works fine for relations, but is not as efficient for columns, you will get separate SQL query for each column in the same table. 
you can get a list of all unloaded properties, both relations and columns, from sklokomy.orm.attributes.instance underscore state unloaded. You don't use deferred columns in your example, but I'll describe them here for completeness. The typical scenario for handling deferred columns is the following. Decorate selected columns with deferred. Combine them into one or several groups by using group parameter to deferred. Use undefer and undefer underscore group options in query when desired. Accessing deferred column put in group will load all columns in this group. Unfortunately this doesn't work reverse, you can combine columns into groups without deferring loading of them by default with column underscore property column, group equals, but defer option won't affect them, it works for columns only, not column properties, at least in 0.6.7. To force loading deferred column properties session dot refresh of ch, attribute underscore names equals, suggested by Nathan Villascusa is probably the best solution. The only disadvantage I see is that it expires attributes first so you have to ensure there is not loaded attributes among past as attribute underscore names argument, for example by using intersection with state dot unloaded. Update one Sklokomy does track loaded objects. That's how ORM works, there must be the only object in the session for each identity. Its internal cache is weak by default, use weak underscore identity underscore map equals false to change this, so the object is expunged from the cache as soon as there is no reference to it in your code. Sklokomy won't do SQL request for query dot git park when object is already in the session. But this works for git method only, so query dot filter underscore by it equals park dot first will do SQL request and refresh object in the session with loaded data. Two. Eager loading of relations will lead to fewer requests, but it's not always faster. You have to check this for your database and data. 2.1 Refetching data from database won't unload objects bound via relations. Two point two item dot group is loaded using query dot get method, so there won't lead to SQL request if object is already in the session. 2.3, yes, it depends on situation. For most cases it's the best is to hope Sklokomy will use the right strategy smile. For already loaded relation you can check if related objects relations are loaded via state dot unloaded and so recursively to any depth. But when relation is not loaded yet you can't get know whether related objects and their relations are already loaded, even when relation is not yet loaded the related object s, might be already in the session. Just imagine you request first item, load its group and then request other item that has the same group. For your particular example I see no problem to just check state dot unloaded recursively. 1. From the session documentation. The session is somewhat used as a cache in that it implements the identity map pattern, and stores objects keyed to their primary key. However, it doesn't do any kind of query caching, it's only when you say query dot get some primary key, that the session doesn't have to issue a query. 2.1, you are correct, relationships are not modified when you refresh an object. 2.2, yes, the group will be in the identity map. 2.3, I believe your best bet will be to attempt to reload the entire group.items in a single query. From my experience it is usually much quicker to issue one large request than several smaller ones. The only time it would make sense to only reload a specific group.item is there was exactly one of them that needed to be loaded. Though in that case you are doing one large query instead of one small one so you don't actually reduce the number of queries. I have not tried it, but I believe you should be able to use the sklalchemy.orm.util.identity underscore key method to determine whether an object is in Sklalchemy's identity map. I would be interested to find out what calling identity underscore key group, 83, returns. 
Initial question if I understand correctly you have an object that you fetched from the database where some of its relationships were eager loaded and you would like to fetch the rest of the relationships with a single query. I believe you may be able to use the session.refresh method passing in the names of the relationships that you want to load. If you want to see more, please consider subscribing.